Kevin's coming in right now. Okay, great. Is Mark on the line? I'm just checking to see. Not yet. No. Okay. Someone has some background noise. How is that? I have that. Can you hear the people in the background in my office? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm telling him. That <laughs> yeah, sucks. I'm, I'm right, the same so way. I'm, I'm in my office too, so I have to mute and unmute all the time. Got it. Are we ready to record? We are ready. All right. So, good morning for the record. I'm Chris Young, chair of the HDC Sign Advisory Council. Uh, let's call the meeting to order at nine o'clock on March 23rd, 2021. Members, let's access. Please respond now when I call your name. Kevin Guster. Here. Uh, Paul Wolf. Here. Ben Norman. Here. Is not on the line. Is that correct? Okay. Uh, Kathy Mark, Flynn for staff. A president and Mark just arrived. He's connecting. Okay. Well, let's just wait a second. Confirm his access. Uh, Mark, are you on the line? I am. Yes. Okay. Um, so this open meeting of the SAC is being conducted remotely consistent with Governor Baker's executive order of March 12, 2020. That order is posted with the agenda materials for this meeting and allows public bodies to convene remotely so long as public access to the deliberations is reasonably provided. This meeting is convening via Zoom with video and audio recording, and we're being broadcast via YouTube on the town's YouTube channel. With no members of the public having asked to speak, excuse me, this uh, meeting will feature public comment as we have members willing to speak. Materials provided to the members for this meeting uh, are available on the town's website. During the meeting, I'll introduce topics and speakers. Please remember to mute your Zoom audio until your name's called, and let's direct comments and questions through the chair to avoid cross-talk cross -talk and making minutes easier. <coughs> the votes will be conducted by roll call. That said, we'll move on to the agenda. Uh, do we have an adoption of our agenda? So moved. And a second? Second. Thanks, Mark. Uh, ben, are you in favor? I'm in favor. Paul? Aye. Kevin? Aye. Mark? Aye. And I am. We thank you. Do we want to approve our minutes from the 3 221 meeting? We have a motion. So moved. Uh, thank you, Kevin. A second? Second. Thanks, Paul. Mark, are you in favor? Yes. Ben? Yes. Paul? Yes. And Kevin? Aye. Thank you. Okay. Is anybody on the line for just general public comments uh, not relating to an application before us? Okay, seeing none, we'll move on to the applications. Uh, the first sign up is for 12 Oak Street. And is there, is Wendy on the line? She's not. I'm yeah. Leslie, her partner. Uh, oh, she's out nice. of town. So I'm pinch hitting for Thanks. her. Good morning. Thank you, Leslie. Good morning. Um, so we saw this at the last meeting and there were some changes requested. Do you know yes. um, how does this new application compare? Yeah, uh, the background was cleaned up. It's just white. And the logo was just brought down a bit to allow for more of a um, kind of clean border around. Okay. Uh, let's go through the board. Uh, ben, do you have any comments? I much appreciate the new background color. Um, and um, I, I, I'm, I'm unsure about the fonts and whether the rest of the board is comfortable with it. I'm, I'm, I'm sort of okay with it personally, but um, I'll defer to everybody else on that front. All right. Kevin, how about you? Um, 
I'm I I can't quite tell if the uh, if the uh, logo is at fifteen percent or larger, but kind of Eric Alice, I don't think it's appropriate for the sign. I also don't see a I don't see a border or a frame on the sign, and I don't see it hanging from anything. It looks like it's screwed onto the pole. Oh no, sorry, um, it's hanging on the existing. Um, it's hanging on the it. It's uh, hard to tell because we photoshopped it in, but it's actually the same setup that was when William Ravies was there. We actually took their exact pole. We had never took it down. We're using their clips and we're using their exact sign dimensions. Okay. Um, I, I guess I, I don't feel that the graphic, you know, fits historically enough. And I feel like uh, we've had others you know, change that and this, while it's nice in one instance, I'm just afraid of what the precedent would set. That's all. Um, and re relating to the border, it, it does appear in this, the look, yeah, there, there is a frame there. A border. There, yeah. Border. yeah, it's hard to but, tell um, again in the Photoshop, sorry. Okay, uh, Mark? Um, I don't have any concerns, I appreciate the revisions. Um, I feel it's, not unlike some of the other signage that's on that block presently, um, maybe in particular the sign that's right next door. So uh, no concerns. Thank you. Okay, and Kevin, or excuse me, uh, Paul? I have no comments. Okay. Um, I'm doing a little bit of math with my computer here. It looks like that logo is in the less than 20% range just to, sort of uh, put that in somebody, you know, Kevin, to give you some sense of ease there. Um, not sure it's quite 15%, but it is, it's less than 20% for sure. Um, is, and is, I, is that I, I got a quick question. Is, is that just a painted square edge or is it a frame or is it beveled? I, I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's just, um, it's etched out, it's beveled, and then it is painted. Okay. So, does anybody want to make a motion? I, I'd make a motion to approve, um, but in our motion to approve the, 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 the graphic due to the nature of the store. Is anybody comfortable with that? approach so adding that you. comment i'll say okay you. <laughs> i know it's all right unusual but um so we have a sec we have a motion a second is there any discussion does anybody want to contribute before we vote <laughs> uh, i feel what, i'd feel better yeah. if there was if there was more of a frame around it that at least brought something into the context of an older sign you know, a beveled edge on a white sign with contemporary faces, you know, very new looking. And maybe if it just had a simple frame around it, it might help. Okay. Um, Leslie, do you want to, would you be willing to do a little bit more of a frame if that became part of the yeah. motion? Yeah, yeah. Look, I mean, it's a sign. We're okay. super flexible. Yeah. We just, we want to okay. hold on to our logo. We want to make it youthful for kids. And we can let go of the bevel and do a little bit of a bolder border um, and keep it nice and simple. It's just a sign. We're totally fine with that. Oh, um, do, do we want to make an amendment? Kevin, are you proposing an amendment to the, the motion? Um, sure. Yeah. If, if um, I'm not sure if the language due to the nature of the store still stands. That's kind of a slippery slope for me, but um, I'd be happy to make a, to make an amendment to add a uh, I don't know quite what the phrase would be to add a uh, a dimensional frame like a picture frame you know some kind of a frame that's other than painted. Okay, so it's adding a three dimensional border, you want to give it some idea of width so the applicant knows what you're thinking. Can I ask oh, a gosh. question on that? Do you uh, mind? Sure. Yes. Yeah. Of course. 
Um, because I, I, one question on that, because I do think the store right next door to us, I don't believe that they have a three-dimensional frame. And I think it is very much in keeping with the architect next door. They have a more modern font and a very clean um, sign. And so I'm just wondering, again, given right next door, there's no three-dimensional frame if we wanted like a, a stronger border around it. But I, I don't, I don't know. Um, I don't know why a three-dimensional frame, if there's other, if there's precedent out there for other signage that doesn't have anything like that. Uh, Chris, I'll just withdraw my amendment. I, I think this has enough votes to fly without me. I I haven't weighed in. I actually think that Kevin, you make a strong point, and I, I would like to see a, just a bolder frame. Uh, Leslie, if you could paint the line around the perimeter to be a little bit bolder, so it doesn't get lost and and have the appearance of white space bleeding off the edge, I think that would help. Um, I can't recall exactly what the architect's office has, but just to at least set the tone with this sign, I would I would appreciate. It doesn't have to be three dimensional, but a broader order around the perimeter. So um, I'd like to just propose that amendment to the application that I'd like to see a, a, like a good three quarter inch um, thick, you know, painted border uh, around the edge. So let me just propose that uh, amendment to the motion. Can somebody second that? Second. Okay, uh, Mark, are you in favor of that? Okay. In favor, yes. And Ben? In favor. And Kevin? Uh, nay. Okay, uh, I'm in favor. So that is the revised amendment or revised motion. Let's just vote on the the motion now, which is that we're approving the sign with the three quarter border. Sorry to be so formal. Uh, Kevin. Uh, no. Mark. Aye. 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 Uh, Okay, Leslie, thank you for your patience. So the it's approved with a three quarter inch painted border. Terrific, thanks everyone. Have a great day. Great, thank you. Thanks, take care. You too. Uh, okay, uh, this second sign is for Audrey Sturk at 18 Broad Street. Is anyone on the line for that? I have to recuse from this one. <clears throat> okay. Do we have anybody here to represent? Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to find the, um, I don't believe so. I'm just trying to find um, it. I just don't wanna look at it. She's not, she won't be back in fall. Okay. No, that's not the one. So let me do this. Out of respect to the people who are on the line, uh, let's pass over um, this one for the moment. If there's nobody here to represent, uh, is Ben? Are you representing the land bank? Yeah. Uh, do you mind if we pass over that until the end of the meeting as well? No. Unless I'm there's anybody. Yep, no, that's fine. And, I, and I'll yell downstairs uh, to tell Audrey to get on the line once I'm done with the land bank so she can try to jump on. Uh, so let's move on to 21 South Water. Uh, is Sean or Gail available? I'm here. Sherry from Sign Here. Okay. Hi, We're Sherry. We're representing Sean. Okay. This is Sushi by Sean, right? This is 21 South Water. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You want to tell us a little bit about this application? Okay. Um, he is in the, I think it's the old Vincent's building, but he, right there, he wants this carb sign in that, if you go back to that other picture, that one, he wants to put it there. Um, that's basically his main entrance, even though it's kind of in like, it's the side of the other entrance. That was, um, that's going to be the surf club, I think. Yeah, okay, um, that was approved last the, week, I believe. Okay, okay. Um, 
so anyway, they're right next door. And that was what I was asking about the awning. See, the red awning is all ripped and torn, and that's what he wants to take down also. But he didn't get me the application in time, and I didn't have the right one. But um, so we told him that I would expect a border because this is what he wants because it's clean. Um, but we told him that, you know, you guys, ha it has to fit in, and you guys have the ultimate say. Okay, so is this going to be <clears throat> a, a square sign in the end? There'll, there'll be a, is that what Correct. we're seeing or is this a? Yes. Okay. Correct. It's a wall sign. Um, it's not hanging. So, right. So White what we're background looking at is, was just that little logo. sushi sign. Yep. 11, 11, just curious. Um, that's, what did he say it was? I'm not sure. I don't remember what he said, but it's it's just it's a significant <clears throat> local yeah. thing. Okay, got it. Will there be a, a border around the perimeter? Is it going to just be white space? Is that what's being proposed? If I I told him that you guys prefer to have a a finite outline, so he was fine with that. Okay, um, let me open this up to the board. Mark, do you have any thoughts? Uh, I think. Um... A border does make sense probably just you know even if it was a black outline not unlike what we just requested of the previous applicant uh in paint um could we see it's could i see the slide with its location please yes all right i was just trying to get a sense of two feet by two feet on there i guess it should fit fine it's like that might be three feet wide or maybe a little more um and as long as it meets the combinations, I guess, uh, for the building. I don't think I have any concerns. It sounds like, no, I think that's my only comment with maybe the recommendation of a frame. <clears throat> All right, Ben. That work? So I'm gonna recuse. I, was, I kind of missed half this presentation trying to talk to Audrey, so I gotta recuse. All right, uh, Paul? Um, I think this is gonna call for a master sign plan. Two tenants in the same space. Two tenants in the same building. Which doesn't mean we can't approve the sign, but I think it means that Gail's going to have to put together a master sign plan. Yep, that's a reasonable request. Um, oh, is that for Gail? Like, I don't know anything about a master sign plan. Is that what she does? So she owns uh, the building? Yes. Yes, yeah, so she, okay. she's basically saying, and it can be a combination of the approvals, but basically what it's saying is that she's acknowledging uh, that these are the sign locations so that future tenants don't come in and say, we were told we could you know, put our third sign Got on it. the building, for example. Got it. Um, Got it. We're trying to just set the precedent now with the owner's approval or at their request really, so that yeah. as, Buildings we become multi-tenant buildings. We don't end up with a smorgasbord of signage. So it makes sense. I get it. So she would need to apply for that before this sign, as a second sign on the building, would kick in with its official approval. But we could approve this in theory that it would be a part of an approvable master sign plan. So okay. Um, so we are safe to start it because it's got a lot of prep to well, it. but we're okay sure, to let, start it. Not, Let's go through the process. Hold on a second. Um, Mark, have you spoken on this? Oh, you, you wanted the border. Uh, Paul and Kevin. No Kevin you haven't spoken yet. Okay. And Kevin, you are, um, what are your thoughts? Well, frankly, I, I find it that it's really an incomplete application. We don't have much detail at all. I, I think Mark raises a good point. We can't tell how that's gonna fit in that space. We can't tell how high it's gonna be mounted. Um, I agree with the comments um, up around putting a border on the sign. I think in this case, it could be painted, but I have a real problem determining what the best size is for that space. It is a very, very close read to any passerby. I don't think it needs to be you know, massive, but, um, I don't have enough information, frankly, and I think it should be held for revisions and a proper drawings. 
Um, that, that's a very fair point to be honest. I was counting shingle courses and trying to extrapolate from that, which is probably not the best way to scale uh, something that looks like it'll be close. Um, so Sherry, would yes. you be able to turn this around with a, an application that shows us the frame, this, you know, the actual size of the, uh, or design rather of the sign as well as scaling it in on the side of this building so we can really see how it fits between the doors? Sure, of course. Yep, we can do that. That's not a problem. And, and I honestly, at that same time, you might as well submit the master sign application, which is simply a second application uh, for the building and with a letter that says, you know, here are the, the two spaces. We want a wall sign to the right of the, you know, the door to this uh, smaller space. The, it just outlines what the signs are and how big they are uh, for all of the different okay. locations. And so, if they want to... Because she owns the building? Yes, Gail would be the applicant. And, uh, and that should just be a letter that outlines all those points with a, a photograph of the building located locating the, uh, the different spaces. Um, okay. And if you're going to be applying for an awning sign, you might as well include that so that it's part of a complete application. Okay, I get Mr. it. Mr. Chair, this is Kathy. Y yes, Hi, um, Kathy. Sherry, at the very end of the sign book, there's an example of a master sign plan for your guidance. Okay, okay. Uh, <clears throat> so Kevin, are you, do you want to make a motion to hold for revisions? Is that is that the thrust of your comment? Yes, uh, I think it's important that we that we get accurate stuff and you know in the file and and I think having the sign plan is a good idea as well. So yes, motion to hold for revisions and further information. Second. Second. Thank you, Paul. Uh, Mark, are you in favor? Yes. Kevin. Aye. Paul. Aye. And I am as well. Ben, you're recused. So thank you, Sherry. We'll see you at the next meeting. <laughs> I get three more up. <laughs> oh, we'll see you at the next application. Uh, <laughs> let's see. We've got 18 uh, Broad Street for Lois Shapiro. Is that related um, to that, Audrey Sturks, 18 Broad Street? 18 Broad. Yeah, it's another tenant downstairs. Oh. It's not Audrey's, it's another another person. That's, uh, Is anybody that's on the us. line for that application? Yeah, that's us. Okay. I didn't recognize the name, sorry. All right. Um, so we have two at that location. Is that right? Two signs we're I looking don't, at. I understand that Norman residential is gone. Excuse me, but, I'm but still I, here. I'm sitting in the. I'm sitting here. <laughs> oh, that's yours. Okay. Yes, so that's my I sign. Didn't, I just, <laughs> okay, I did not know that. <laughs> okay. I knew you'd be this one. <laughs> so I thought we, I misunderstood. I thought the sign was gone. Okay. Um, which one are you representing? Just because we have two 18 Broad Streets here. We have one for Audrey and one for 18 Broad Street, LLC. Um, ours is 18 Broad Street, LLC. What's this guy's name? Dean. Dean. Mr. Dean Mr. Is All right, Mr. Chair, she's representing the wall sign for 18 Broad Street, LLC. Great. Um, take us through this application, please. What are, the, what are we looking at? This, what's his name, Dean? Gian Petro is the guy's name. And I honestly have never met him. It's all been via email. But this is his request for his sign. Oh, I can't do that. Um, and I, I, you know, we put a border on it. As you see it, it's a beveled edge because it's going to be a carved sign. And he requested um, 24 wide by 12 inches tall. But I honestly, I don't know what he does if it's um, tutoring or <clears throat> says educational consultants, but that could be anything. This uh, this building does have a master sign 
plan, as far <laughs> as I recall. Um, and it should match the old sign, which you can see ghosted in that uh, that next photograph down, Kathy. Yeah. Is that, do we know what the size of that sign was? It looks to me like 12 by 24 might be a little taller than the old one. Are you asking me? Yes, yes, I'm asking you if you're representing. Yeah, do you know what the, it was 12 by 24 relative to the old sign or is that just a dimension that was made up? That's what Dean said. <clears throat> I did not go measure it myself. That was his photo. Okay, got it. Um, Would Norman know? Uh, ben, ben, you know what size ben. your sign is? I think mine's probably like six by 20 or something. I don't know. I'd have to run down there and measure it, but. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Um, yeah. We did that originally and he wanted it bigger. So we told him again, ultimately it has to fit into the environment, if you will. Um, but that, you know, we just submitted what he asked for. We're Got open it. to change. Okay. Um, Paul, do you have any thoughts on this? Well, my guess is the master sign plan defines the size of those signs. So we should look at that. Uh, Mark? Uh, yeah. Sorry, I've been. Uh, Hello, okay. I see the graphic again, please. Um, 12 by 24. Is there, there may have been some dialogue on this, I apologize. Was there, is there any implied frame on this at all? Is it just a beveled edge painted? Be beveled edge, correct. Painted it's beveled edge. Corner. I, I guess I'd like to see this given, given the historic nature of the building too, and it is downtown. Um, that the, the the frame itself is a little bit more traditional in that <clears throat> it's a square edged um, and bevel and paint might be fine. Um, and this is, is it black on white or gray on white? It's actually gray, like a Quaker gray. Okay. Um, the, um, yeah, that would be my little... comment. Just, I think that the cornering, uh, the soft corners are a little odd and it should be squared up. Um, um, I guess that's it. it. Seems like a lot of white space as well, and could be probably reduced some. But um, those are my comments. Uh, Kevin, yes, um, I think Mark might have missed the discussion on the uh, master sign plan, but uh, I believe. That what we were intending to do with the master sign plan on this was that it was to act more like a directory sign. Uh, and I think this sign and, or any other sign for that matter that goes here should be, should be the same size as the Norman sign and be you know underneath it um, so that it looks like a directory sign that was the intention of the master sign plan. Okay, uh, so why don't we hold for a revision until we can get the, well, we, we need to pull out the master sign plan, I think is the key uh, that everybody's saying. So should we uh, hold for the next meeting so that we can do that due diligence and maybe ask the applicant to be prepared to have an, a modified application if size is limited by that master sign plan? Well, I'm not sure how to I don't know, but even if the form that into a motion, but maybe I just did. Yeah, I, I although I guess if the map, I, I would doubt the master sign plan would indicate that we'd allow two different size signs, but if it does, then I think that should probably get you know corrected. Uh, 
you know, this is not that different than what we have run into down to two Union Street on the outside of that building, where we've asked the signs to be the same size. So I'm not, I'm not sure how the master sign plan would affect that other than we could certainly say that now and they could move on. But holding for revisions is okay too. I, I tend to agree with you, Kevin. Um, Mr. Chair. Chris. Are you frozen? Can anybody hear me? I can I hear you. you. Okay, sorry. I didn't hear any response. Um, just so everybody knows, our office is open by appointment. His audio was so. uh, interrupted. Oh, okay. Yes. So our, our office is open by appointment yes, only, Kathy. so if any time anybody wants to stop by and pick up a master fine plan from the file, they are able to, they just have to make an appointment. Is Chris frozen? Chris. It looks like. Yes. <laughs> Frozen in time. I know, good times on Zoom. Does anybody want to take over this discussion? I don't know if he should log off and log back on. I think he just did. There he is. Okay. He's moving. He's moving. <laughs> Chris, you have to unmute. Hi, guys. Hi. Sorry, my my signal got crossed up there. Um, so, Kevin, I, I lost you in the middle of your comment, but I I agree that I think those two signs, regardless of what the master sign plan says, should be the same size. Um, do we want to make a motion based on that? If that's not what you were recommending. Um. Yeah, but I think we should see what it's going to, I still think we should see what it's going to look like, but that would be my recommendation for the revisions. Okay. Um, I agree. So can we, do we want to make a motion based on that and ask her hold for revisions and recommend that it matches the size of uh, the Norman? Uh, so more. Norm okay. So more. Uh, do we have a second? Second. Okay, thank you. Um, ben, are you recusing? I think you probably. Yeah, I have to recuse. Yeah. Okay, so uh, Mark, are you in favor? Aye. Paul? Aye. Kevin? Aye. And I am as well. So if you could go back to Dean and, and let him know that the sign should just be applied for to match the size of the existing um, Norman sign above. That will be the okay. appropriate size. Uh, All right. Okay. The gray, oh yeah, Kevin. The gray order is okay. I, oh, sorry, Kevin. Go ahead. I think we should give her some direction on <clears throat> on if it should just be the size, or if or if the the edge, or if it should be square or rounded. I, right. Um, so I think they should be the same. I agree. I agree with Mark's comments. However, in this case, with Norman's sign being um, rounded, I kind of feel like the two would speak better to be be the same. That's my personal opinion. So, Mark, do you see how that would be appropriate? I think Ben should change his sign. All right. I agree. <laughs> no, I think it's fine. Yeah, they can be consistent. <clears throat> okay. But definitely have some form of a border around the perimeter. Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Is the so deviled edge, the deviled edge, considered appropriate or no? Uh, Mark, do you have a thought on that? You want to answer that? Yeah, I think, think I think the bevels 
probably fine as long as, again, uh, that there's a contrast with the gray. I think it was just hard to tell on the graphic. Yeah. Okay. So a painted, painted bevel edge. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That works. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. All right. Kathy, who's <clears throat> next up on our agenda? That's, that's me also. Okay. Um, foggy, it was Foggy Bakery, but because of COVID, they no longer have the big, where uh, the big, they have the second, I mean, the first floor of that entire building, and they no longer have the right side. So you guys approved the sign years ago, said Foggy Bakery. Now they've downsized, as I just said, and now they want a, um, just the round, foggy Nantucket pizza and barbecue, black and white. Simple, simple. Is that a projecting sign? Yeah, double-sided. Okay. All right. Uh, any comments, Ben? Mark? Uh, I don't think I have any concerns. Okay. <laughs> Paul? Um, same situation I think applies here at a master sign plan, which I doubt exists. Um, to, it, it, well, let me ask a question. Is the pizza store separate from the bakery? There's no longer a bakery. There's no longer it a bakery. It was that. Yeah, they changed the name of the business and they've, and that's just the kitchen. So they're just doing, literally doing takeout of the kitchen. So they're going to take <laughs> the foggy Nantucket sign down? They've already taken it down. Okay. So the and new so one goes up, up above the door where it's marked with a crayon? I'm sorry, what was your question? The new sign would go above the door where yeah. it's marked in yellow? Correct. Okay, I don't have any problem with that. Okay, and eventually, so somebody else, we might have a third tenant because Woodmeister's in the front of the building. There might be a third tenant going into the old bakery space. Is that correct? I have no idea. Okay, but it's potentially, um, it could happen. So. This will I likely become a, a moment. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, Paul, to your point, a master sign plan would help clean that up. But if even if there were a wall sign where the old foggy wall sign was, and this projecting sign being here, I, I believe it would likely be approvable from a master sign plan point of view. Um, so we could request that the owner submit one before another applicant applies. But at the same time, consider this application. Uh, Kevin, do you have any any thoughts? Uh, yeah, I, it's it's more about the application itself. I I'd like to know what the size of this is relative to the space that's marked. I question whether the sign should be placed in, in the center underneath the windows above, or I don't know what the projecting bracket's going to look like. Um, I just feel like there's things missing on here. I, uh, okay. So it's 20 by 20. I have no idea how that scale relates to that building, frankly. It's probably fine, but how, far, you know, okay. it just, it's got some pieces missing from the application. If I may add, um, Kevin's spot on. Uh, the, these last couple of applications, I must admit, are, are a little thin and we're lacking information. And I'm probably focusing too hard on the graphics, but there are this extraneous information that would be useful that we're not seeing with these applications. And they're, they are a bit incomplete. And for us to really weigh in appropriately, we should be seeing all that information that Kevin just highlighted. Thank you. Okay. Uh, ben? Uh, yeah, I mean, I agree with Kevin. I think the you know what what the bracket looks like, how it uh, gets attached, all needs to be presented. Uh, but I, I think at the end of the day, it's probably going to be an approvable application. I just want to see that. I also just want to note that all the other signage in the windows and on the building is going to need to go away. That I know we're not looking at that. Um, yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's 
that's just a chalkboard because she took the other sign down. She has nothing. So right, exactly. And I realize that, but just just to air that out, that that once this new sign goes up, all that other stuff, it, it's got to go. Absolutely, but I agree with Kevin. I think we we should hold for for, for a complete application. Okay, so the no, things, Kevin, just to just to add to what uh, Ben was talking about, I. I think they would be entitled to two signs here, um, if I'm correct. Um, but they are only just applying for one right now. I understand that. So the chalkboard could be a second sign if it were following the chalkboard rules, which yeah, we, yeah which are outlined in the sign. Um, so uh, <clears throat> keep things missing would be scaling this so we understand where it is exactly on the building and how it's bracketed, um, the design of the bracket, for example, uh, and how how low it would be to the ground. I think those are all pretty important elements of a projecting sign application. Um, and I, I honestly think that Paul's point about a master sign plan is is important. It's even once we have a second tenant, there should be a master sign plan, which we are either amending if one exists or we should have one created and it should take into account the third space, which um, we're likely to see a, a sign for in the near future if it's an open space. So the can we hold for revisions for a complete application and also request that the owner of the building submit the master sign application? I, just one thing to interject, Chris, I think there, I recall that there may be a master sign plan for the, for the front building. I'm not sure about this back part. Got it. It is one connected building, but I think that you're right. It might be Woodmeister and Wicked Island at the original, uh, were, were the original tenants up front, I believe, when that was put together. So uh, maybe an amendment to that would be in order. So does that all make sense as far as how to submit a revision? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Okay. It's all good. All right. So we just need a motion to that effect. Um, motion to hold for revisions and further information and a complete application. Okay. Okay. Uh, was that a second, Mark? Yes. Thanks. Uh, ben, are you in favor? I'm in favor. And uh, Kevin? Aye. Paul? Aye. And I am as well. Thank you. Last but not least is our sign. Okay. <laughs> We've been in Take business 10 years and never had a sign. All right. What do we have here, Sherry? Um, this is for our sign shop on 45 Old South Road. Um, Karsten owns the building. It used to be Tugboat Tim's. Um, ideally, we would like it to face Old South Road. It's right between our two front windows. Okay. It used to, there used to be an um, anchor, a big anchor out there, but he, Carson, gave it away to someone that he knows. So um, the anchor's gone. Sorry, I'm having technical difficulties for some reason. The rest of it is not scanned. And I didn't do my due diligence before the meeting, and I apologize. All I have is the application scanned, uh, Sherry. I'm sorry, did what you, was your question? Did, did you scan the um, entire Isn't application to HTC submissions? I brought it to you physically. So it's okay, so it's not scanned. I left it in the, I left it in the, in the box outside. Okay. Kathy, I think it's in the view pack. Oh, it uh, is? Oh, that's, no. that's weird how it's, okay, let me stand by one minute. Sorry, guys. I didn't have anything in my view pack. For this application, geez, I thought I saw it. Because I was questioning the size. I think it was like 30 by 50. Okay. No, it's not that big. We don't have that much room. I don't have have it on the computer here let me see um while she's looking i've noticed over the 
past here that you, you I think it's your, your business has some parking signs out front that I, I yeah I, I, you we know, have our one RJR Waterwell parking sign and one sign here Nantucket parking sign yeah I don't I don't recall that those getting approval it's fine I can take them down It was the dentist office. There, people are parking here, and no one can come into my shop. All right. So, if um, that those are on the side of your building, right, Sherry? My no parking signs face the dentist office. Correct. Yeah. Under the windows. So, Mark, I looked up the view pack. It's only the application that's on there. It's scanned. I apologize. I'd have to go grab the application and physically scan it in order for you all to review it. If you hang on, I can have Kadeem do it real quickly, okay? Well, okay. you know, I think they have, an, I, th I think they, they've been waiting for a sign, she said, for 10 years. I think they could wait another week and there's a lot of other applications <laughs> that she's coming back with. So I would just motion to hold for further information. Uh, all right. Um, do you want to ask her to put the parking signs on the uh, on as a second application, Kevin? Sure, if she, if she can have two signs in that building then she can apply for what she wants. Okay, so Sherry, if you wanna just get those uh, added on, we can review those at the same time. I can, yeah, that's fine. So I apologize that we're gonna hold your application, but we're, we're seeing it at the next meeting anyway, right? Okay, and the next one's April 6th, is that correct? That's Kathy. Uh, yeah, unless you, yes. Um, I You are all tied into a new business HDC schedule um, and the next new business is April 6th. Okay. Okay, okay. so um, Kevin, you had a motion to hold. Uh, do we have a second? Second. All right, I'll give that to Paul. <laughs> uh, Mark, are you in favor? Aye. And Paul? Aye. And Kevin? Aye. And it looks like Ben is away from his computer, so I'll say <laughs> aye. That, that will pass. Oh, aye. Back. Sorry about that, uh, everybody. Thanks, Gary. The uh, okay. limitations of doing this virtually. <laughs> OK. <sighs> All right. Um, is anybody else still on the line that represents an application that we haven't heard yet. Uh, what's up next on our agenda? Uh, uh, Mr. Chair, it looks like seven Macy and I think Kara, I thought I saw her. There she is. Okay. Hi, sorry, I'm here. Great. Kara, take us through your application, please. So this um, was Nantucket Retreats. They currently have two signs. They're the exact same sizes as these two signs, same owner, just different businesses. Um, so uh, this is for Sea and Ski, which is on the side of on Macy's Lane, where there's currently a sign. Okay. The exact same shape. And um, and there's also another application for the front of the building. Okay. Which is a different okay. business. It's called um, what it's called. It's Got it. And there are two existing oh. signs, same size, same location. You're saying. They're identical sizes, yes, and shapes. Okay. okay. Um, so reviewing this one first, uh, Paul, do you have any thoughts? Is this part of these two separate businesses? They're two separate businesses. Is there a master sign plan for the building? I do not know. <clears throat> but these are, these signs are, or there's, identical size signs on the building currently. Okay. And so previously the two signs that were on the building were the same business, is that yes. correct? Yes. Okay. So this is the first time it's being used as a multi-tenant space. Mm -hmm. We can make okay. a master sign plan if you like. Yeah, th I think that would be appropriate um, mm -hmm. before the approvals could be official uh, because it is creating the, the multi-tenant space. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so Paul, Beside that consideration, if this was part of a master sign application, would you have any any thoughts? Um, 
No, I, I, the colors, it looks awfully bright in this picture, but <clears throat> can we see what the colors are? These Nantucket colors, yeah, it looks like they are. Okay, no, I don't have any problem. All right, uh, Mark? No concerns. Ben? You know, it, it feels like a billboard to me. There's no door on that side of the building. Um, you know, I realized that uh, it's a, there's an existing sign there. I think that that was a mistake on whoever approved it previously. It just doesn't relate to an entrance. It's a billboard. So I'm, I'm an A, unfortunately, on this one. Okay. Um, Paul? Oh, excuse me, Kevin. Is Kevin? Um, I agree with Ben. I don't recall approving a sign on that side of the building. And if it was, it, it shouldn't have been. There is no door there. And, that, and that's an important criteria that we've held a lot of applicants to. Um, so uh, I, I'd, be, um, I'd be a no. Okay. Um, I'm not, I would be curious if, if we found that approval, if that sign was originally put up um, with approval, but it is a corner lot situation, which has an exception in the rules that we should be just wary of. I'm not sure. Um, Mr. Chair, wasn't it? Yeah. Is it, yeah, is it this, excuse me, was it this building or the one right behind it where FedEx was located at one time? Because there was signage. I know there's been signage on this side, on this road before. And I don't care if it was this building or the one right behind it. Um, as you make your way to the parking lot. I think, I think this is that building because the next building back is it, isn't that the, the restaurant or is there a building between the road and the restaurant that's just behind this? I think it's, is there a site plan? Is that, is that a residential that, building? The, these signs were, the previous signs were approved in 2017. Okay. Um, yeah, I, addressing the concern of, uh, of Ben and Kevin, I believe that being a corner condition does allow for signage that can be on a non-entrance uh, elevation. But we could, and if these were previously approved, that's another consideration. Um, Kevin, or excuse me, uh, Mark, did you have any thoughts on, on this, the application aside from um, no, I think I'm okay with it otherwise. Okay. Um, I think if, my opinion is if it's a multi-tenant building and we're seeing a master sign application for this um, and it was previously approved, I would, I would be in favor uh, of, of this application. Uh, um, so. My only question might be size appropriateness. Is it over six square feet? Uh, it, yeah, by, does that say 38 by 24? Um, so that is over six, well, as a wall sign, it would be allowed to be one square foot per linear foot of the elevation. Um, although there, it was pro probably following the combination rule, which meant it had to be smaller than the main sign on the front. Um, but, so yeah, that looks like six, six and a quarter square okay. feet, something like that. Um, but if it's the exact same size and, and as the previously approved, I, I would say that uh, I'm in favor. So we may have a split board on this. Uh, does somebody want to make a, a motion? Nobody wants to make a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Okay. Um, I would say with <clears throat> the caveat that it is that we have a master sign plan uh, applied for um, and that it the 2017 application does reflect this um, this application. Um, can we can we add that to the motion? Can uh, somebody second that? I'll add that to my motion. Okay. Um, Second. All right. Thank you. So let's take a vote. Uh, ben? Sorry, I'm a nay. 
Okay. Kevin? Nay. Paul? Aye. Mark? Aye. And I'm in favor. So, um, let's, Mr. Chair, yes. is that, was that a motion to approve? That's a motion to approve with us, okay. mass, assuming a master sign plan gotcha. is submitted. And we have a, just checking that that is the uh, matching the 2017 application. Um, so let's make sure that when this goes up to the board, that there's, uh, it's noted that it was a 3 2 uh, outcome of our recommendation so they can take it under consideration. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Let's see the front sign. <clears throat> this one actually is smaller. It's um the same height but less smaller um Got it. It's shorter. Not okay. My office and okay. So look, it's being centered over that right side window. There's lighting about that. I don't know if you can see it. Um, so it's centered under the lighting over the window. Okay. And what do we have for the design of that? So it's navy and white, their logo. Okay. My office co-working space. Got it. Can that? Can you scroll down, Kathy, so we can see the uh, the design? Okay. Um, let me open this up. Uh, Kevin. Um. Uh, I think if we, uh, I think we have to go back to the uh, fifteen percent rule on if it's a logo, otherwise get rid of the bubble in the letter O. Okay. And I think I think it's um, that's all for now. All right, uh, Mark. Um, I might kind of agree with Kevin on this. I think it's because the, the frame is oddly so traditional with the scallop corners and it's bordered. It sets itself up for more traditional look and that yet the content is so contemporary that I think that they kind of fight with one another. Um, I either like to see the whole thing really simplified. I mean, this will be a, it's a very visible sign as you exit the airport. Um, so I think it either I think I think it either needs to be more consistent and just cleaner looking overall and maybe still omit the bubble um, or reduce it by the 15% as Kevin recommended or take it in a more traditional path. I don't know that I could approve it as submitted uh, at this time. Thanks. Okay. And just to be clear, what you guys are saying, 15% would mean that the, the my office would in, in its entirety would be shrunk down to 15% of the size of the sign. Is that what you mean by that, Mark? Yeah, I don't know that that's actually the right thing to do because it would be no. so small. And I think graph, I think a review of this graphically is maybe really where one should start. Um, maybe not just a simple reduction. Right, that's what I just wanted to clarify. That would, in, in essence, make it extremely small. Um, Paul, do you have any thoughts? Uh, I would agree, agree with taking the, the bubble out and making it an O. Okay. Uh, ben? Um, yeah, nothing to add on the design of the sign. I think a little bit of revision is good. Can we look at the uh, front of the building again, though, just real quick? Oh, thank you, Kathy. So I think that um, Photoshop, it's showing much bigger than in reality because it's only 17 by something. 
So I just want to make sure it's going to fit nicely up there. And I, I think that that looks a little too big, but I think the, was it 15 by, yeah. So that's three shingle courses. All right, can we go back to that photograph again, Kathy? Can you zoom in on that? Yeah, maybe that's pretty. It just feels a little, a little big. Um, it might be a tiny bit bigger than it. Yeah, than it I, I feel like yeah. I think you're but right. The same height as the sign that's there right now. Yeah, yeah, okay. something's funky. I think it'll fit okay, but I, just a little bit more clarification that it fits nicely and scales well <laughs> on that in that space between the head casing and the windows and and the and the fascia. Is this a hanging sign? No, those are lights above it. Oh, oh, these are lights. Okay. Yeah, and so with everybody's uh, the, the recommendations we've been getting so far that change the the bubble to just a simple O, um, would that be an acceptable change? I mean, would we want to? With the I, can, I, I can talk to Ken about changing it to his to an L. Okay. Um, Got it. And, or, and, or reducing the size of, of the logo, yeah. logo altogether. Okay. In a way, seeing it in this picture, especially when you zoom back out a little bit, Kathy, um, and to Mark's point, when you're driving down out of the airport, I think it would read as my office a little easier if it was simply an O. It almost, the O kind of disappears as it's full of... Uh, the interior graphics. So just, it might actually be a, a move that would help the readability of the sign as well as making it more um, as a as a comment from uh, that you can pass uh, Mr. On. Chair, Mr. Yes. Chair I, wonder if, I wonder if we could have the staff just check to see if Lighty was approved at this location. Okay, well, we're gonna hold for revisions anyway. So, um, I, can, I can check on that too with the with Kenan. Okay. Yeah, we um we're open to the public for, by appointment only, so you're more than welcome to come in and pull the file. Okay. Um. So why don't we hold this? Uh, do you want to make a motion to hold this one for revisions? And we're also going to be waiting for the master sign plan. Motion to uh, hold for revisions. Okay. Second. All right, uh, Ben. Are you in favor? <laughs> in favor. And Kevin? Aye. Mark? Aye. Ben? Aye. Okay, I am as well. Great. We will see this as a revised application along with a master sign plan for the building. And the other sign will go up with a recommendation for approval to the next meeting or to tonight's meeting. Um, as it was applied for. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Bye. Bye. This church here, Audrey, is on the okay. line right now. So let me find her application. Great. Let's jump up to hers. I'll have to recuse. Sorry. All right. All right, Audrey, can you hear us? Yes. Great. Would you like to take us through your application? Sure. Um, so the uh, we have been at 18 Broad Street for uh, six years now. Um, but this uh, February, we uh, expanded and took over the Graphicus space. Um, so you could see on the uh, photograph that's up right now, we were just using up uh, the remainder portion of the available sign square inches available um, for our sign. But now that we're occupying um, the uh, first floor, um, we would like to um, just make our sign uh, to encompass the uh, allowable square inches uh, at that site location that's, that's, that's there now. Okay. <clears throat> now, have you taken into consideration that you're taking away our fine example of multi signs on one? <laughs> <laughs> Who are we going to send people Sorry. to now? <laughs> and I do remember doing this with you um, six-ish years ago. 
Um, so yes. Yeah. Um, yes. Gotcha. Uh, I'm going to read a little bit better that way. Got it. Uh, Paul, do you have any thoughts on this? Uh, <clears throat> I have a question on the picture. What's the, the arrow from the corner here? What does that mean? What's that box down below? Um, I think that that was put up uh, by Graphicus and what that was, I think, was they were showcasing artists that were at the um, having a gallery opening that evening. So our intention is to not keep that up. That was just left there. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Sure. That would be um, Kevin. Yeah, I, I, I'm looking for a little more information. I don't know if it's on the application and, but uh, is uh, what what kind of edging is on this? What? Mm -hmm. So it's just, a, it's just a flat edge. Um, so it's, it's just square on the edges. Um, there's no like bevel or anything on the edges. Um, so yeah, so it's just, it's just pretty clean and simple. Okay. Well, I, I would think we would minimum, minimally need at least a bevel edge. I don't know what the others think, but I, I think overall, this is an improvement for this building. Is there a painted border? Can Kathy, can we see the, uh, is that black line gonna be a painted border, Audrey, or is that just so, showing that? So yeah, so if, if you could see, so it's gonna be, the edging is actually gonna be gold leafed. If you if you take a look at the application. Um, um, yeah, see, uh, fin it, um, let me just see here, I could do this. Um, so the edging of it is just going to be a gold leaf. See, it says finish. Um, okay. I don't know where I put that. I'm sorry, but the edging right. is actually going to be a, a gold leaf. If, uh, so is that meaning that the, the thickness of the sign, like let's say it's an inch thick that you're seeing a gold leaf one inch on the, the side, or is it a painted on the face? Uh, so it's painted on the face and the gold leaf edging is just going to be on the on the sides of it. So the thickness of the board is gold. OK, correct. Um, got it. Uh, so, Kevin, are you suggesting and it, typically, Audrey, we would like to see something that frames it so it's not just white space, you know, oh, OK, you read it. can sure. that edging, do, you, do you think you could bring that edging in on the sides? Sure. Yeah, a, yeah, a bit. That's uh, fine. Yep. No problem. Help it read as a frame on the, on the face as well. Sure. Uh, okay, Ben, you're recusing. Mark, do you have any comments? I don't think I have any concerns. I think my only question was, where, where's the tenant that we just reviewed? Where are they occupying in the building? So there's the. Uh, I did. That's going on to right below Ben's sign. Is that what you're referring yeah. to? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's she's occupying one uh, um, one room, so to speak, in that first floor. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Got it. Yeah. Um, I don't think I have any concerns. Otherwise. Okay. So uh, I think everybody, Paul, you, you've spoken, right? You're okay. Yep, no problem. Okay. okay. Um, do we want to make a motion? Motion to approve with the changes to the border as discussed with the gold okay. leaf. Second. Do we have a second? Second. Uh, thank you. Okay. Uh, Kevin, are you in favor? Aye. And Paul? Aye. Mark? Aye. And I am as well. All right. Thank you, Audrey. Great. Thank you so much. See ya. Have a good day. You too. Thanks. Bye-bye. Okay. Um, is anybody else on the line, Kathy, that has an application beside Ben? Yes, we uh -huh. have two more. Um, okay. Pulpus Wall, Mass Audubon, it's Sam Kepperston, and 36 Center, which will be after that. And then okay. Ben. Then so who is up next? We have uh, Mass Audubon. Mass Audubon. Okay. 
Who's on the line for that application? Sam is here. Hello, hello. Hi, Sam. What are you asking for today? All right. So um, we recently got a Mass Wildlife Habitat Management grant, and we ended up doing about 40 acres of of mowing and habitat enhancement out um, at our Sacagawea Heathlands Wildlife Sanctuary. And so part of the grant um, covered uh, signage that explained the ecological benefit of um, our habitat management out there. And so you could see pictured, we had a sign permitted through the HDC uh, that exists on the site. And so we're looking to you know, recreate that, but um, this time it would have, it'd be a two-sided panel. So one side would be in English, the other side would be in Spanish. And again, um, it would be um, like interpretive educational signage for the sanctuary. Okay, and where is it located exactly? So you could see where the trail sign would be relative to our parcel and relative to Pulpus Road. Yes, thank you, Kathy, if that was you, uh, whoever uh, circled that, thanks. Okay. And is that, so that's off of the road quite a bit, is that what I'm seeing? Yes, yeah, so if you go up from the red a little bit, there's kind of a more pronounced road uh, through the moors, that's Barnard Valley Road. And so, yes, this is, it is not visible from Barnard Valley Road. Okay. Okay, uh, <clears throat> Paul, do you have any thoughts? No problem if it's not visible. Okay, Mark? No concerns. Ben? No concerns, but I, I can't figure out where, where it actually will be usable. I mean, is there a parking lot or anything there? Or where? So there is, I mean, Barnard Valley Road, for those that are familiar with it, it is um, difficult to traverse depending on your vehicle, yeah. but we do, there is a small parking lot and a full, pull, a few pullouts off of Barnard Valley Road um, to access, and the trails are really, uh, we maintain some fire breaks or some old dirt roads that, that serve as the de facto trails out there, so um Great. Yeah, no concerns. Okay. Uh, Kevin? Uh, no comment. Okay. Well, uh, I'm, I'm in a agreement with this application. Does anybody want to make a motion? Motion to approve. Second. All right. Thanks. Kevin, are you in favor? Aye. Ben? Aye. Mark? Aye. Paul? Aye. And I am as well. All right, Sam, thank you. Thanks. Thanks so much, everybody. Enjoy the day. You too. Okay. Bridget is on the call here on the line. Yep, I'm here. Okay. Take us through your application. Okay, so this is um, sign at 36 Center Street, projecting sign. Uh, there was formerly a sign here with the previous tenant. You can see maybe like a little edge of the former sign there. Um, they moved. So I'll be taking over the space with a new business. Um, different shape sign than the previous tenant. She had more of like a skinny oval. Um, this would be a square and obviously, you know, different colors. And who was the previous tenant, just so we can get a... It was Tajor Midi. They moved to Main Street. Okay. Got it. So it's, you're, in this uh, photograph, it's the black square by the right side of that stair stepway. Is that right? It's blue, but yes, it's the square. Blue. Okay, yeah, sorry. Yep. Um, got it. All right. Um, Mark, do you have any comments? Can I see the graphic again, please? And the dimensions again, please. Two by two. So four square feet. Um, right. And I, am I correct that there is no border implied on this? 
I believe I indicated beveled on the yeah. application. Yep, I did. Edging okay, beveled. beveled edge. Yep. I guess I'm okay with it. Okay, uh, Ben. Yeah, I mean, I'm okay with it. I feel like we've we're like a broken record. Like no no edge banding has been like the common theme today. Um, it could definitely be approved without one. I'm sure there's a million other ones without them. So I'm okay with it. Uh, Kevin, uh, I don't know, no comment. Okay, Paul, no problem. Got it. I, I actually um, am worried a little bit about the lack of a border. I just I think that we are, you know, it's we hold certain applicants to that standard, and I think we should hold all of them to that standard. Um, I'd like to see some definition of a border more. A bevel doesn't read like much, especially in a black or blue sign. It um, it just you know doesn't really create much of a shadow. Um, it, is there a way that requesting that for sake of just keeping the traditional nature of the streetscape in place? Um, could you either add a you know a, a three dimensional frame around the edge, put a, a white you know paint the border uh, with a white edge, uh, something we can do to. Um, yeah, no, I, I get what you're that. saying for sure. I, I could, I think a white, I could sort of frame it with a white. Um, May I make a recommendation? Yeah, Mark. Um, if that were the case, I actually would do away with the bevel and I would just pick up on the center, a fine line. Of the yeah, center. for yeah. sure. Yeah, it would a be, very yeah. fine white line around here. So it could just it could sit just inside maybe implied frame, which would contain the, the the full bleed, even if the blue is still on the outside of that fine line all the way around. But just an inset in white might be. Uh, I'm using my cursor like you could see it, but uh, just around the frame. Yeah. So yeah. That would look good. I Thanks. agree yeah. with Mark. I'd like. Mark, to see would that. you like to screen share? <laughs> no, I'm good. You can annotate. I'll never give it back to you. <laughs> Um, I totally get what you're saying. I think that I could definitely work with that um, in place yeah. of the pebble. All right, thank you, I appreciate that. So um, can we have a motion then? I think we could approve this with that caveat. I would make a motion to approve uh, without the bevel, but introducing a fine white line and the scale of the word center um, that uh, frames the sign. All right. Thank you. Uh, Kevin, are you in favor? Yes. And Ben? Yep. Mark? Yes. And Paul? Aye. And I'm in favor as well. Thank you for working with us on that. Thank you. All right. Kathy, what do we have next? Um, I believe Ben. Ben. Next, right? We've, we've had everybody else. <laughs> All right. Stand by, Ben. ben. Take us through your application. All right. Where are we first here? Conceu Springs. <clears throat> yep. So the land bank is um, about to embark on a big restoration of Conceu Springs. Um, I think it's supposed to start later this spring or this summer. So they want to put up a um, a temporary. Uh, public information sign that describes the work because it's gonna be kind of a disaster for a little while. Um, so for, as you can see the existing bike path and then it says, yeah, you are here. So that's where that sign will go kind of right next to that funny little path that winds you over to the little park. And um, this sign would be up really just for the, the length of the construction. So maybe one year. Um, but once construction's over, it would go away. Um, but it's just something so that when people are riding down the bike path and Concierge Springs looks like a disaster. Yeah, you like my, you like my uh, Photoshopping here? Um, <laughs> then at least that we know what's going on. So it, it's a public information sign. It's, it's a temporary sign. Um, it'll be mounted as described in uh, the sheet above this picture on a uh, PT post with an angled um, bracket on top. 42 inches off grade at the highest. There you go. 
Ben, what's the content of the sign going to be? Uh, slide number three is exactly the content. That's it. Oh, like, okay. Yep. All right. So it's a map showing what the improvements will be. 20 by 24. So about three and a half square feet. Um, all right, uh, Paul, do you have any comments? I, I have no problem. Okay, Kevin. Um, could you go back to the application, Kathy, please? I'm just trying to see where, see where it says temporary. Uh, I don't know if I've described it here, but I'm, I'm happy to include that in it for the- Yeah, that was, my, that was my, that was no, my only comment four. going in. Number four says temporary sign. Okay, yeah, as long as it's temporary, I'm okay with it. Mark? Um, no concerns. Yeah, I have no concerns. Um, do we have a motion for approval? Motion approve. Second. All right, thank you. Kevin, are you in favor? Aye. Paul? Aye. Mark? Aye. And I am as well. Thank you. Thank you. Is there a second one, Ben, or was that the yeah, one? Yeah, over at um, the Lost Farm Orchard. Okay. So, um, yeah, on, on Millbrook Road, I don't know if anybody's been out there, but um, over in the Lost Farm, the land bank has started a um, orchard, an apple orchard. Um, and uh, you can see it blocked off there. My blue dot is where the sign will go. Um, and you'll see in the picture, it'll be a little more clear. They've created a big fenced in area. Uh, they built a little shed there and they're, they're, they're starting this orchard project. So again, this is a public information sign um, to describe and sa same mounting concept. So there's, there's our sign, <clears throat> kind of giving a description of what the orchard's all about and why apples are important to Nantucket and just the, um, what's actually going on there. So 16 by 24, it's a scale of the sign mounted next to the, the big entry to the fence in the, in the shed there. The slide, yeah, there you go. All right. Uh, Kevin? Uh, boy, I don't know. I kind of have a problem with these kind of signs, frankly. I, I, I mean, all this information is available on your cell phone. Um, if they have to have a sign, I think it could either go on the, on the fence or on the building. Um, but I, I guess I really don't see this frankly as public information. It, it, uh, I, if we, if we let this become public information, we could be talking, we could be having a lot of signs in the land bank property. And I don't think that's that's something I would like to see anyway. So I, those are my thoughts. I, I, there are just so many things that are against it in our rules. It's freestanding, it's wrong materials, it's full color. Um, uh, I think there's probably better way to handle the information and it might just be a simple uh, uh, menu board or something that something more like, like the Conservation Foundation. Um, I know this one kind of bothers me. That's all. Okay, Mark. Um, can I see the location again, please? And is Millbrook running? Yeah, that's kind of where it takes that funny turn there, that ninety degree turn. Okay, yeah. so that's all Millbrook right there, and this will yeah. sit very, fairly interior in the property. It looks like. Yep. Yeah. I don't really have a, a concern. I nerdily tend to read all those signs when I visit properties like this. So I find them useful. I, and I don't think it is impactful to the historic nature of the neighborhood or the property overall. So I have no concerns. Uh, Paul? Uh, no problem. If it's not, not visible from the road. Yeah, I, I, I agree with what what you guys said, I think that if this were, you know, uh, alongside a, a publicly 
accessible walkway or bikeway, I, I'd have a real problem with it. But given that you're you've parked and walked into the property at this point, uh, and especially where this property is, I, I could be okay with it. I but that, I, Kevin, I agree with you that theoretically this could become a problem if every project on Nantucket that a nonprofit puts forward decides to you know put up a sign like this we're just going to have a we're going to become a you know a collection of billboards so um ben is it honestly is this part of like a master plan where they're thinking of is this the first of many that they're going to be trying to do to identify spaces or not that i've heard of no these are the only two that i've been aware of i've been told about um i, I see it sort of like you know at sanctity we have something similar to this, although we did ask them to mute it. Um, I, I guess for sake of setting precedent, uh, could this be done in a way that it's not colored, you know, so that we could at least hold hold the line on that? I mean, it's a nice photograph, but do you need to have, Do we, we all know what an apple looks like. Can we do this without the color photograph and then we can use it as precedent down the road. Is that, is that yeah, I guess, I mean, do you think, are they, they they've obviously, I, well. It, it's up to you guys. I mean, yeah, sure. Yeah, we can, I mean, if, if, if you're, if you're requesting that the photo be moved and it's just text then that we can, we can do that. Um, I, I just wonder if it would help us as a from a precedent point of view. What, what do uh, what's the rest of the board feel about that, Paul? Um, I don't have a feeling one way or another. Okay. All right, Mark. I think again, this is one of those signs that's so interior on the property and has really yeah. minimal impact. Um, I mean, I think you can really have to go to going to go have to hunt for some of these signs that we've been looking at. Yeah. Here. It doesn't yeah. really bother me, you know. Could could it go from a color photograph to like a like a sketch line drawing in black and white? Sure, if you, you know, if you felt strongly about it. But I don't think I feel that strongly about it. I mean, okay. I agree. We all know what an apple looks like, but um, you know, graphically, it kind of breaks it up a little bit. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm fine. And Kevin, you know, do you have any other comments? Uh, no. I I mean, I agree that it would be nice to get the photograph off of there. I. I uh, and I, I appreciate your comments regarding setting precedent. Um, I would just add that I thought the effort that um, Mass Audubon put into having bilingual signs was a very worthy effort, and uh, I'd be happy to sacrifice a photograph to get another mm -hmm. language on the sign. But that's just my personal comment. Thank you. All right, um, so let's put a motion together of some sort. And Ben, if you wanted to, well, Ben, would you want to revisit this at all? Or would you like us to put a motion together for, uh, you know, based on this? You know, I, I, I think I'd like to proceed as submitted, but I will take that uh, multilingual comment to the land bank and just mention that to them. So I think that was smart of, smart of um, Autobahn as well. But for now, I think if, if we can proceed with the presented that application, that would be my preference. Okay. Would somebody like to make a motion? Motion to approve. Second. All right. Uh, Kevin, are you in favor? No. Paul? Aye. Uh, Mark? Aye. Okay. Um, I, I will be in. I'll vote in favor and just ask Ben, trusting that yeah, you take our words back to the land bank, see if there's something we can do to um, impact this, perhaps this sign and, and future applications. Absolutely. All right. Great, thank you. All right, thanks guys. <laughs> Kathy, was that the the last application? That was um, on the back. I don't know if Kevin had a chance to 
work on the letter to the National Intech of Builders Association? Well, actually, <laughs> I started. <laughs> haven't gotten very far. But what I would what I would appreciate everybody doing, if you get a chance, uh, I can't think of the number, but on Pleasant Street, uh, not too far down from Maine. Uh, uh, Woodmeister is working on a big project there and they have a construction sign mounted on a post up against the building. It's a, it's a small sign and it's very clean. And when I saw it, uh, I, I thought this is perhaps the, the kind of construction sign that we could approve. Uh, it, it is, you know, simple enough. It's not, you know, it could be wood right now. I think it's kind of a thicker, a thicker plastic or a metal. Uh, and I believe it's only one color. But if you get a chance, drive by, look at that. I think if we could, if we could encourage, you know, construction sites to go towards this kind of a look with just simple text information, and if we could eliminate all the big logos and the advertising and that sort of stuff, um, I thought it might be a way to say, this is something that we can allow versus something saying that what they can't do. Um, I was thinking that perhaps we, we do a little comparison like we have in our sign guidebook where we show something that is approvable and something that isn't approvable so that you have a little more guideline to work with. So. That's kind of what I've been toying around with. Um, uh, so Kevin, did you want to email me that picture so I can send it to? Yeah, I will. I, I mean, will. If, if you're in the area. Yeah, I will. Okay. If it's not a. I will. I, have, I took a picture of it. Um, yeah. But it's. I. I think. I think as I looked at the guidelines that we have, I think they're really, they're kind of too restrictive for what I think are gonna meet the needs of a you know, building site. Um, and I think if we can give them more direction, it'll result in a better overall consistency and not everybody doing their own thing. So that's where I'm at with it, but I, I, I have been looking around. <laughs> to, I promise you by next time, we'll have some, something to look at. All right. Thanks, Kevin. Any other questions, comments, or concerns? No, I just have the next sign council meeting is April 6th. Um, just okay. so you all know, the schedule of HTC is a little wonky right now. Um, they, they, they don't meet one week per month. So, um, like I said I before this time of year I've always we've always scheduled you all following a new business deadline and then when you meet in the summer it's a different you know it's every week but um yeah so there aren't a lot of 22 new business meetings in April okay so we'll I'm just reading I got a, in April oh, I got a right quick up. comment if I don't know if it can be helpful or not but it felt like some of the applications today were just really, really missing basic information and we're very sloppy. Right. And I, I feel like it wastes everybody's time. Um, can, I, can I just say something about that? I had 201 uh, submissions this for this oh agenda. My, um, oh it's my ex God. We're extremely busy with limited staff and resources. And um, I will reach out to our admin staff, but um, yeah, it's challenging. So I apologize for some of the incomplete applications. I noticed that as I was going through them um, and we'll try to do a better job, but um, your patience is a little bit requested because it's just, it's, it's busy. It was, yeah, uh, no, it absolutely. was interesting. Yeah. I, it, by contrast, uh, we, we filed an HTC application in Hingham recently. We tried to file it for March and they said, oh, the agenda's jam packed. I'm sorry, can't accommodate it. So we're like, oh, all right, so we'll go for April. So we got on April's agenda. It's a 10 application agenda. Oh. Um, but to their point, they do limit at some point, which I thought was interesting. Now, 10 seems kind of insane, but um, but it, you know, at some point, you're it is crazy. You guys right. take everything that comes in and do your best right. to get it. 
Yeah. Well, it's it's all because of the pandemic. We're yeah, yeah. To the public, the building boom is like insane, um, and it's everything is electronic board. as well. So when you submit something, and let's say you need to change a site plan or a plans, it's very cumbersome. It's a five step process for us to do that. So. Um, yeah, um, and there's no. nothing in our act that says that we can limit the meetings. The only thing in our act is a 10 day waiver because mm. uh, it has to be heard in 10 days and the 60 day denial. That's it. Um, it it's not really written for a pandemic. So um, right. that would be a home rule petition. <laughs> now, you guys are doing the best you can. Yeah, it's, yeah, we're, yeah, that, it's, yeah I mean, everybody's yeah. doing a, a great job, but it is extremely challenging. So. Yeah. There are some that are going to fall through the cracks, and I apologize. Um, no, I think, yeah. but I appreciate your your comments on that. I think it's comments very helpful. made during the meeting, at least for me, were directed at the applicant. So if they yeah are in the future, yeah, uh, and we are open to the public, so they can come in and pull the uh, master sign plan or previous, um, and we have sign applications too that are yeah. available for. But it's a matter of they just can't walk in and sit down with us; they have to make an appointment. So it's it's. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, no, certainly, Kathy, I understand yeah. how busy you guys are. I, I, I pointed to the applicants themselves. I mean, particularly the sign here people, they know what's required and it wastes not only your time, right. but all of our time. And, and right. you know, just basic stuff that they should put on. It's crazy. Right. So. Yeah. Well, yeah, like I had 18 incomplete HDC applications and then um, plus some of the sign applications. So, um, so I, again, I apologize. We will all around try to, but I appreciate your comments. They're very yeah, of course. constructive. Yeah. Well, and I would uh, work on that neon sign for your office. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Ben was gone. I thought, his, I thought he was gone. <laughs> Man. All right. Uh, would somebody like to make a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Do we have a second? Thank you. All right. Paul, you in favor? Aye. Kevin? Aye. Ben? Aye. Mark? Aye. Kathy, are you in favor? I am in favor. I've got All stuff right. to do now. All right. Bye. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.